Hello everyone, and today we're going to be talking about the top 5 Jolly Village Lumians. So these will only count Lumians in the Jolly Village, but if these Lumians eventually can be get outside of the village, it will still count on this list because they are only available at this time. So yeah, let's head right on to this top 5. But before we do that, we are doing another giveaway, and we are giving away an Alpha Akalos. So yeah, if you want to win this Alpha Akalos, you got to say Alpha Akalos in the comments below. I will give you a number, and then if your number gets picked within the next few days, you will have a shot at winning this Alpha Akalos. So yeah, let's head right on to this top five, because this is a very interesting video to talk about. Number five under this list is actually going to be Christmas Cradle. Yes, Christmas Cradle actually makes the top five. And spoiler alerts, Festifer is not on the list. While Festifer is actually a pretty solid good defensive Lumion, it's not great offensively. Christmas Cradle, on the other hand, is pretty good offensively. With the chilled ability, you have 120 power raging tackle getting buffed and turning into an ice type attack. Making Christmas Cradle hit extremely hard. Even better, it has great coverage and Earthquake and Timber Thrash, meaning that you can hit a lot of different Lumions in the game. So why is the pre-evolved version of Festiver better than Festiver? Well, it's because Festiver has only 22 speed. Christmas Cradle has 62 speed, and when paired with Nimble and Specialty Boots, can actually speed creep Hunter. Yes, this thing can speed creep hunter by two speed, which is amazing. And since it has some amazing coverage and can hit anything neutrally, definitely deserves to be in the top five. This is probably one of the strongest pre-evolved Lumians in the entire game. So yep, Christmas Cradle makes the number five spot onto this list. But it is a pre-evolved Lumion, so it doesn't get any higher than that. Number four to the list is actually going to be the new Roamer. It's going to be Celesting. And this thing is really cool. It's another metal light type with some really good abilities. Mystic Tone makes it so if you get hit by a melee attack, it will use any random move on your team. But I think Reverberate is the better ability because it makes it so Lumians cannot fall asleep. Obsidragon can't be slumber. Cosmior can't slumber. And also Hypnotize doesn't affect you, which is amazing. I absolutely really like both abilities, as both abilities can be used pretty well. It even has a solid speed stat in 91 and really good health and really good energy. And even the best offensively, as Light Metal is kind of bad offensively, honestly. But the fact that it can make it so Obsidragon and Cosmior cannot, cannot sleep, can make this thing really scary. And it actually has Light Speed Ray, which is a brand new priority move, which can give light range priority, which is awesome. This thing is really good. It can set up, and it has a lot of good niches. And that's why Celesting is in the top five, even though it doesn't have a great offensive typing. It resists a lot of moves, which is nice, but it may not hit the hardest offensively. So that's why it's not in the top three. But this thing is definitely a very fun Lumion to use. Number three onto this list is actually going to be the best new Lumion, which is Bar Badger. It's an Ice Brawler type. Yes, an Ice Brawler type with a Dauntless ability. If the opposing Lumion has a super effective move, you get a plus one melee attack boost. This combined with Boots is extremely overpowered. But if you don't run Boots... You can run Brawn Boost and get your melee attack up by 2, and you can just hit anything in the entire game really hard. Because you have Rogue Assault and Ice Hammer as your main stabs, while having Clay Slap for coverage. And remember how I said that Ice and Earth is really OP? Well, imagine adding Brawler on top of that. That's Bar Badger, and this thing is extremely overpowered. Brawler Ice offensively is just as good as Ice Earth, and having Earth coverage on top of that, that can lower the opposing Lumion's speed? Yeah, this thing is amazing, and while it has an awful defensive typing, it kind of gets utilized to its advantage because of the Dauntless ability. Its flaws actually makes it a massive strength, because you can get a free plus one melee attack, and you can nuke a lot of Lumions. It may not hit the hardest without the Dauntless boost, but if you can get it, 
You can combine that with Rogue Assault, which is 120 power, and this thing can absolutely nuke Lumians. This is definitely a top three Jolly Village Lumian. Number two onto this list is actually going to be Wintrix. Wintrix is definitely still a very good Jolly Village Lumian. I do think it is a little overrated, but let's talk about why it's number two. Wise. You can hit anything in the game for at least neutral damage. Pretty solid attack, has a solid speed tier, and also can heal with perch. It even has other moves like Mud Spatter for coverage. It can even run Baffle if you want to run a defensive one tricks and Peace of Mind setup. This thing is amazing. And while its offensive typing is horrible, it gets counteracted with the wise ability, meaning that there is nothing in the game that can swap into a Wintrex, which is amazing. It can also run Chill to hit harder. It can also run Glide to become a late game sweeper. But Wintrex is usually going to be running Y, so it can hit anything in the game. So why do I think Wintrex is a little overrated? I think it's because of its 114 attack. It doesn't have an ability to increase its damage besides if the Lumion is not very effective. So it doesn't hit many Lumions the hardest. It still hits extremely hard, but ranged tanks can kind of wall it. Although the good thing is, a lot of ranged tanks are weak to Wintrix, which does help Wintrix a lot. Wintrix is definitely an amazing Jolly Village Lumion, but it's not number one. There is one Lumion which is better, and I think it's no surprise on who number one is, but Wintrix is still very, very good. And the best Jolly Village Lumion is actually going to be Tundralin. And I know this comes from Avari, but you have to involve it in the Jolly Village. Well, we talked about Tundralin before. Body Crash, Bulk Up, Rejuvenate, Resilience, 130 melee defense, solid solid speed stat for a tank, solid health. Yeah, this thing pretty much has everything. This is probably one of the best melee tanks in the entire game. And people can get this thing now. Yes, I do think it is a little bit worse than Obsidragon. But even over Obsidragon, this has Rejuvenate. You have more reliable recovery with Tundralin than you do with Obsidragon. And while Beast Slumber is still a very good move, with the new Roamer that has the Revabulate ability... Makes it so if Sidragon cannot fall asleep to get HP back. As for Tundralin, you click Rejuvenate and you still get your HP back. This thing is extremely overpowered. It hits extremely hard with Body Crash. The Ice Hammer is just icing on the cake as it can hit air types, which definitely adds a lot to Tundralin. Tundralin is definitely one of the best melee tanks in the game. And it's by far the best Jolly Village Lumion in the entire game. Tundralin is probably the best Lumion from the entire Jolly Village event. And that's why it deserves number one on this list. So here it is, Tundralin, the best Jolly Village Lumion. And while some of these Lumions like Wintrix and Tundralin might not be Jolly Village exclusive in the future, they are right now. So that's why they are on this list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me talking about the top five Jolly Village Lumions, and I will see y'all all later. Bye-bye!